Hi, this is a tutorial on how to start up the F5E. Start out, we're going to pull up the ground crew, pull up air supply, and press connect. While that's happening, I'm going to turn on the battery and my left and right generator. I'm also going to turn on the left and right fuel boost pumps and the crossfeed pump. Finally, since I do have a center line tank, I'm going to turn on the center line fuel pump. If I had wing tanks, I would also turn on this pump, but I don't. Now that we have the air supply hooked up, I'm going to go back to air supply, and this time I'm going to apply it with uh, F3. Copy. It's now applied. Press and hold the left engine start button. There we go. Now I press right alt home to crack the left throttle. That'll start it up. I'm going to close the canopy so you can keep hearing me. Once it's spooled up, these two lights here will go off. And um, I'll start the right one. There we go. We apply the uh, air again. Actually, not sure if that step is required, but doing it here. Press and hold the right start button. Let go. Right shift home to crack the throttle. You can see it's spooling up now. While we wait for that, we can uh, turn on the RWR the power button here. It will go through a system test and it'll take about a minute to load up. You'll see some messages across the screen. I'll turn on my uh, gun sight. I'll set it to missile. You see the pipper's now up. Come over here to the left side. I'll turn on my chaff and my flare, as well as my two dampeners for pitch and yaw. Come down here and turn on the radio. We have our uh, TACGAN uh, right there if you want it, but I'm not going to use it. There's our uh, test screen for the RWR. Both engines are spooled up. Kill the master caution. Turn on the uh, O2 supply. Turn on the IFF. This is so other aircraft can IFF you. Uh, the F5E cannot IFF other aircraft. And finally, we'll set our radar to standby to warm it up. Other than that, we just need to talk with the ground crew and disconnect our air supply. Copy. And uncage this thing, if you actually care to. There we go. And I believe that's it. We're ready to go. The taxi is cracked the throttles open ever so slightly and you'll have to press and hold the nose wheel steering button to steer. If you let go, it'll just save whatever position you're at. Let me pull up the controls. That's my finger off the button. And you can see it just keeps going in a circle even though my rudder is centered and even to the right. Alright, straighten this up. Um, what else? Oh, for takeoff, you can do this anytime you want. You extend the nose wheel strut, and this will allow you to take off a bit quicker. You don't have to do it, but it makes it a lot easier. And as you can see, we can taxi just fine with it extended. And fuck it, I guess I'll take off since I'm here. Full burner. Oh yeah, you might want to set your flaps to auto. It's um, on your throttle control if you want to assign that. About 150, we'll start rotating. There we go. Gear up. Because the flaps are auto, we don't have to retract them. They'll retract as needed. <laughs> and 
And I forgot to retract the air brake. I don't know why it spawns you in with them extended. So yeah, that's all there is to it. It's a real simple airplane. Thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful.